Down at ice level are the teams, and Ray Ferraro is there as well. We'll get his take on things shortly. Tonight, we bring you a matchup between two great teams. Eddie, your thoughts? This is the game you mark on your calendar with a big red circle with a thick, fat marker. The fans are pumped and the players are ready to rock. Let's get it on. Somehow, Sidney Crosby has elevated his game again in the last 18 months. Among the league's best players since the day he broke in in his first NHL game, he is a dominant performer. Walking a thin line near the border there. Flings it. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Gains the zone. Oh, here's a wrister. Freezes play. Play is halted right now, so it's a chance to hear from Ray Ferrari. The Canadians are so well schooled and coached in their defensive zone. They don't run around, they don't make mistakes, and any chance you get are going to be few and far between. Tied up, but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. A shot, great stick save. A shot off the goal post. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Skill play by Alexander Ovechkin. Deflected off the blocker. Really good move. Blockered away. The Canadians continue on at center. Wrist shot. Just couldn't find the target. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Say! Parked in the slot, and it's on his stick. Cranks a shot. Ooh, saved by the wire of the mask. Shoots one. What control. Recollected. Moving it to Hall. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Shot, and he missed the net. He doesn't miss it by much. He's right in the middle of the ice. He tries to bang it in off the goalpost and just misses. He throws it there. Puck covered, whistle blown. I'm sitting alongside Marc-Andre Fleury's first NHL coach. Was he really good right away? Yes, he was, Doc. That's why we took him first overall in the NHL draft. But the one thing that he had to learn is that to play with more control in his game. Super athletic, but understanding that less was more as a young goaltender. And he's proved that throughout his career. Yes, it's been up and down. Yes, it's been roller coaster. But it's hard to argue against a guy that went to back-to-back -to -back Stanley Cup finals and won one of them for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Russia shifting gears as they travel through center ice. Gathered up again by Shea Weber. To Bergeron. Nicely into the zone. That shot hit a man. Good intercept. And he picks it up. Russia's controlling play now up the wing. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Brings a shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Save. To Kulikov. Wonderful job as he plays it up the wing. Fires. Puck covered, whistle blown. Bobrovsky's butterfly positioning is perfect here. He's going to make that save all day. Over six minutes to go, first period. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Team Canada's prevailed on another faceoff. Gains the zone. He's got that point pass. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. All right, here's a long pass, and it's on the money. With a strong wrist shot. 
miss the net. Oh, he's going to shake his head when he thinks about this one. He's right in the garden spot between the hash marks, and he misses the net. Domestikov's doing everything he can, guys, to get back to the bench after that hit. Couldn't get through. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. A hammer shot from the point. Waffle boarded. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Domestikov's injury was apparent as soon as you saw this hit. Huge collision, bone-rattling check. We have a winner. On to Tavares. Tip by the stick, that's just good fundamental defense. And offside is called on the play. Near the last minute of the first. He's in on an onside play. Last minute of play in the first period. Rush is moving it up the wing. Let's it go. Oh, stick save. Shoots. Big shot. Big save. Puck collected. Looking for room. Brilliant save by Fleury. And the period comes to an end. Woo! We all need a rest now. Don't forget to check out our top 10 moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. Fleury's enormous save has kept his team in it. We have ended the period, and he gets a rest. And so do we as we head to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Nobody's been able to put the puck past the goaltender's dock, but I think one thing they need to improve on is getting more people to the front of the net. Make life a little bit more difficult for the goalies. Nice tip of the pass. Hanging on to it up the wing. The Canadians waiting back in their own end. Gets in, looks over his options here. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Marched narrowly inside. Save! Looking to Malkin. Rushes in possession as they move up the wing. Big drive! Sticked away. Passing one off now to Stamkos. Let's it go. Lasered off his head. Wristed one. Great glove save, and he keeps it. That was all positioning right into his glove. If turkeys could fly, they'd be ringing his head right now. That one had to hurt. Possession established. Good reach there. Into the attacking end. Let's it go. That hit somebody. Pass attempt to Hall. Puck grab. They've got it ready. Let's go a wrist shot. Oh, what a chance. What a save. Draw the tie up, and his team prevails. Directing that one to Marchand. Can't get a shot on him. The battle for the puck, and he can't get free. Shot on. Nearly grazed the iron on that. Great idea, but he just missed the net. One timer, and off target with that one. And they are in. Chip to Burns. Bodied off the puck. 
And play is stopped for a penalty. Russia's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Clean win on the draw. Good block and puck possession comes from that. Back to the point. Blocked away. Good quick poke check there. Slid to Weber. Shoots. Block. Off a defender. That's a free puck. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Good face-off win. And at an angle to Stamkos. Very important if he can clear this puck out. They've taken the heat off again. The clock still moves. Pitching it to Crosby. Snapping a pass to McDavid. Propelled to Stamkos. Looks over his options from the corner. Turned a shot on net. Great glove save. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Over nine minutes to go in the second. Still nothing on the score sheet yet. Solid clean win. Sent out of the zone by Evgeny Malkin. Long way to go and not much time to do it. Onside. Right to the point. And angled to Doughty. One-timer. Oh, tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Pass off the mark thanks to the defender's stick. Outstanding save with a glove. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. Canadians win it. Laid on to Latang. Score! Finally, we have a goal. Tavares gave the goaltender no time to react with that quick snapshot. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. Team Canada's gotten a one-goal lead, and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. Neutral zone face-off one. Possession established here. Good shooting place. He scores! David skating got him to the front of the net and was able to put in that second chance opportunity. Pucks to the net need to be deflected into the corner. Because the goaltender can't do that, the goal scorer is able to pounce on the rebound. The Canadians have built a two goal lead now. Perhaps on this faceoff, they could make it three before the end of the second period, at least. Cool. Tie up there and a good reach and possession. The Canadians control the play in the defensive zone. Moved along and in. Vladimir Tarasenko with it now. Watch him, dangerous and exciting. They score! Patrice Bergeron! You one time the puck like this, it's gonna surprise a lot of goaltenders. Getzlaff's displayed some sweet hands. That's a soft dish right on the tape. Team Canada's got a 3-0 lead. They've had the puck almost the entire time. What's going on here? 
They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Pitching this one to Marshan. On to Getzlaff. One timer. Lightning. He scores. And that's four straight goals. Especially in the offensive zone. If you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. Just a bit under five minutes left to go in the period. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Stood up there. New D on this dump in. And he's hammered. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Gains the blue line. Nicely received at the point. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Kulikov's shoulder absolutely annihilates him as he goes into the ice. Good job on the draw. The Canadians lug that along in their own end. Puck out of play into the bench area right past Ray Ferraro. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Can't get it on net. He was trying to be a little bit too fine there. That's why he missed the net. Now it's directed to Doughty. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Oh, it's very important if he can get that out. Great job stopping and holding. No luck getting through. Puck loose. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Defensive zone win. At the front of the net. Oh, Pocek saved one there. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? Who do you think is the fastest skater? We'll answer all of those questions. Bobrovsky's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? Team Canada's coaching staff, Doc, told us before the game they wanted to get off to a good start, and they have in a lot of areas, especially on the scoreboard. They are well in control of this game. Let's see how they play it the last 20. Takes that pass from the other point. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. Trying to go to Malkin. Snaps a wrister. Grab. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. Tie up and uh, help from the winger. Puck is thrown to Stamkos. Shoots, big point blank save there. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. A little under three minutes have gone off the clock. Canada's been dominant for nothing. Good job tying the man up on the faceoff. Teammate comes in. He gains the zone. Gives it to the point. Roped in by Dowdy. 
Stood him right up. Right in front. Oh, missed the net. Chip to Tavares. Let's the shot fly. A whistle and a rest. The Canadians get the draw. Wow, what a glove save. Now that's a quick glove. The Canadians win that faceoff. Rushes in their own end and shifting gears. Tries to get it on net. Battle for possession. Kicked out of the scrum. Moving it to Getzlaff. And he's still got that puck up the wing. Slid to Bergeron. Let's a shot go. He covers and holds on. Fleury's ability to read the play was pretty good there as he got across to make the stop on that odd man rush. They win the draw. And play stopped because of an offside. And they take that neutral zone face off. Propelled to get slapped. Skill play by Marshall. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Right in that catching glove. Good work. Face-off win. One-timer, not through. Team Canada's leaving its own end. Let's it go, got it all. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Nice face-off work. Carried through center ice by Alexander Ovechkin. Got it at the point. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Good job on that faceoff, tying the man up. They've got it between the blue lines. Gets in. What'll he do? Taken away. Kulikov's in his own end, headed toward center. Pass cut. Strong play. Slides it to the point. On the outside, a shot. Team Canada's got it back in their own zone. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Gets it back. Team Canada's execution offensively has been outstanding this evening. They've gotten to the front of the net. They forechecked well, cycled the puck, and controlled the play for long stretches of time. Defender held his ground. The puck is loose. And sent down to Crosby. Knocked it away with the stick. Gets in. What'll he do? Didn't handle it very well. Free puck. Team Canada's in control of the puck in their own end. 
Has it back deep. Looking to Kuznetsov. Oh, and he's hammered. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. One timer. Canada's up the wing settling things. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. Kick save, outstanding. Russia's carrying on up the wing. Nicely done with the interception. Offside stops the clock. A shooter can't do much more than that, guys. That's an excellent shot that he delivered to the net, but the goaltender makes the save. They've won the neutral zone faceoff. Laid on to Anisimov. Let's it go. Oh, and he robbed him. Oh, the goalie was screened on that shot. You got to rely on your positioning to make that save. No luck. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, he just missed. Waits with it. 19 still to go. Gets across, looks over his options. Up controlled by Shea Weber. Passing one off now to Tavares. He throws it there. And there it is. The game is over. I know what that's like, Doc, being on the end of some bad game, some bad efforts. I'm not looking forward to practice tomorrow. The players go to center ice, raise their sticks. One last time, they salute the fans before leaving the ice. And again, we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the evening as much as we did. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.